Hello guys and welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms if you want to make a quiz or if you want to make an application form or something. I'll show you how to use Google Forms for that. So let's get started. First, open your browser and search for Google Forms. Go to the first website, Google Forms. Click on Go to Forms. You have to be signed in with your account. So now you have it here. You have multiple options. Now we are on Google Forms page. To get started, these are some templates starting from new. These are some templates that you can use. And if you had anything saved, we've made any forms here, it will be saved in this area. So we are going to start by blank form. And after we finish, I'll show you the templates. So let's start by blank form. So this is the page where you create your form. So to start, this is the title of the form. Let's say, for example, we want to make a quiz for our school or something. So quiz one. And you can adjust the settings of the font from here. So you can make it bold. You can adjust everything of the text from here. These are some settings. You can also add a small description. This will be explaining the form. So quiz one, this is a form quiz for science. Before we go to the first question, you see here this this part you can from here add a question which will be like this you can import questions if you have a file or if you have a link to a google form and add section it will be like two sections if you have 10 questions at the first page they will have to click on next to go to the second page so this is the add section so if you want to delete anything just select it like this and select delete section now we have our quiz here so now after we have our title made so click on add and now add question this is the first question let's say for example 2 plus 2 and let's add some uh, answer let's click on add option 1 let's say 1 2 3 4 so these are our answers remove this you can select the form of the answer from here. It can be multiple choices or check boxes. If you want to select a multiple answers, it can be okay. So just leave it on multiple choice. And if you want to add a certain picture, just click on this. It shows something that there's a question about. So just select it and post it from here. Okay, so now we have our image inserted and this will be our question. You can also drag this to be the second one from here to be the third one like this and also this required part that means that you have to answer this question before you send the form if you didn't answer it you can't send your answers if you don't answer this question so let's add another question before this this was a question but let's say we want to add a name and code at first if you we want to the examiner to add his name and his code so we'll just take this up here and let's say your name question types magically update it updates it from a multiple choice to a short answer or paragraph so right now we will have your answer here short answer text or you can make it a paragraph for long answer text so select a short answer it updates it automatically it will have to be required to add another one put you see it updates automatically from multiple choices to short answer you can also make a file upload if you want them to apply a picture or something or to apply a pdf you will have to add a file upload if you want someone to send you his cv or something if he's applying to work so you can select a file upload so right now he will have to answer his name and his and his text it will be required so now let's go back to our question now how do we set the right answers to be corrected automatically right now if you don't set if you don't set the correct answer and he sends a question you will see his response and you will have to review it manually but you can set the correct answers at first just go to settings and make this a quiz enable this option and click on release marks make it immediately after submission if you want and enable all these options miss the questions correct answers point values make it enabled so everyone will know what his mistake is and what and this also adds a score to every question so if you go back here so this is one point this was not here before this is one point for this question and if you click on this answer key select this to be your correct question if there's a multiple choice question you can add more than one if you want so i'll just select four for now done and you can add all your other questions by the same way just click on add like this and you will be fine 
But you can remove the required option from here, so it should not be required. I leave I leave this one required. Okay, so let's say for this anything like this to fill the space. This red star means that this question must be answered. So now we have a base form. You can add all your questions if you want here, like responses. You will find the responses in this part. I'll show you after. Select email addresses if you want to apply it or not. If you want to limit it to one response, so not everyone can send multiple answers, you can enable this part. Also, if you want to change the question, so there will be multiple arrangement of the questions. If two persons open the quiz at the same time, each one of them will have a different arrangement of the questions. So now we have the base of our quiz. Here you can change the template and the background. You can change the font. You can also change the questions, as you can see. If you want to add a picture up here, let's select picture. Let's say this. Insert. So now you add a picture to the quiz. Select something relatable to the quiz. You can change the color of the background. You can add any color you want. There's a lot of customization. Add. Okay. Background. So adjust these settings as you want. Now if you click on preview, this will open a new page. This is what someone else will see when he enters this quiz. So now after we're finished, just click on send. You can send it via email to anyone you want. Enter his email here or just copy the link from here. Click on short in URL and copy this link. Copy. Okay. Now we have our link. Let's say now open a new tab. Paste. Okay. So this is our quiz. It will show you your email here. I'll hide my email. Now it has shuffled all the questions. The name was at the top of the page. So let's, uh, let's say this is it. Okay. I'll answer a wrong questions. Two plus two, two. Okay. Okay. Select anything. Your name, anything. Okay. Okay. So let's say for example, if I didn't answer my name and, and if I click on submit, it won't send it. So you will have to answer this question because we have selected it as required. So you have to enter your name and after that click on submit. After that click on view score. Now okay, because we didn't select any correct answer for this question, it will show you wrong, but okay. Now this one we have selected four, so two is wrong. It will show you the correct answer. So you will have to select a correct answer for each question to be okay. We have to go to our responses. This is the page we have created our form. Go to responses. You will find two responses. It will show you a lot of information about the responses for each, for each question. One of them have answered by two. One of them have answered by one. You will have full information about the questions and the results. You can see also individual results. So guys, this was how to make a custom Google Sheet form. There are also some templates. If you want, for example, contact information, open this one. You can adjust everything from here. Contact information, you can change the name if you want it for something else. You can change the name, email, address. As I showed you before, but this is a pre-made template to save some time. You can just click on send and send the link to anyone you want and you'll be fine. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you find it helpful. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.